As the year's best and brightest consumer show has just ended and the dust has settled back into the Las Vegas desert, the casinos have wiped all the tourists clean of their hard-earned cash, and the neon lights of the city are now a nauseating fading memory, we can finally reflect on this year's must-have devices, some which will undoubtedly never resurface again, but many that will go on to become bestsellers. Here are a couple of our favorites. CES was heavily focused on tablets this year, and according to analysts, there will be over 100 tablets released this year, with one UK research firm, CCS Insight, counting 82 tablets at the show. Rivals have had almost nine months to catch up to Apple's best-selling iPad, which is eons of time to listen to the market and tweak certain features and fix glitches that iPad haters have incessantly complained about since the April launch. This crop of iPad killers feature front and rear-facing cameras, faster processors, and larger screen sizes. Which brings us to the Motorola Zoom, one of the biggest hits to come out of CES and with all the above features. Motorola's tablet runs on Android 3.0, Google's tablet-optimized operating system Honeycomb. The 10.1-inch device is the first tablet with a powerful dual-core processor, each running at 1 GHz, so very fast. It has a front 5 megapixel and rear facing 2 megapixel camera and a widescreen HD display. Another showstopper was the Motorola Atrix, a powerful mobile phone powered by 1 GHz NVIDIA Tegra 250, a dual core processor based on the Cortex A9, plus 1 GB of RAM, so twice as much as other smartphones on the market currently. It sports a biometric fingerprint reader for extra security on the back of the Android 2.2 powered smartphone and an HD and laptop dock, with the latter featuring an 11.6 inch screen, full keyboard, speakers, a three cell battery, which Motorola assures it will last up to eight hours of life. Next is the Sony Ericsson Arc. No surprise that it's also shaped like an Arc and measures a slim 8.7 millimeters at its thinnest point. It runs on the latest 2.3 gingerbread version of Android and features a 4.2-inch multi-touch display, an 8.1-megapixel camera, video recording in HD 720p, and a built-in HDMI connector. LG also showed off a new Android smartphone, the Optimus Black, running on 2.2 but will be upgraded soon to 2.3. It has a 4-inch Nova display as well as a slim 9.2-millimeter body, the Optimus Black enables clear visibility in an indoor or outdoor environment, as well as under strong sunlight. Research in Motion was happily showing off its first tablet, the inappropriately named Playbook at CES. Running a 1 GHz dual-core processor, 1 GB of RAM, and powered by the new QNX operating system, the Playbook features a 7-inch WSVGA with LCD display. It comes packed with a 3 megapixel front and a 5 megapixel rear camera that boasts 1080p video recording. Well, that's our pick of the bunch. Thanks for watching. I'm Layla, and see you next time.